Doncaster Bells are without a doubt one of the biggest names in women's football. I can see you raising an eyebrow at me through your screens right now, but it's true. For the Women's Super League generation of fans, football began long before the WSL was even a glint in the Football Association's eye. In fact, Doncaster Bells were formed all the way back in 1969 and celebrated their 50th anniversary this past year. Donnie Bells began life as Bellevue Bells in the late 60s, named after the ground in which Doncaster used to play their home matches. While they enjoyed league success over the years, it's their romance with the FA Cup that stands Doncaster apart from all but one club in English football. In fact, Donnie Bells have made the FA Cup final a staggering 13 times. The club won the FA Cup for the first time in 1983, beating St Helens 2-0 in the final. They've gone on to win it a total of six times, last winning it in 1994, beating the team which would then become Liverpool in the final. That victory marked the end of Captain Sheila Edmonds' career, a career which spanned 25 years with the club. As a founding member of the team, she is still involved today as the club's president and general manager. Doncaster were amongst the eight teams that formed the first National League competition in 1991 and would win the league with 14 wins from 14 matches. Arch-rivals Arsenal were promoted to the top flight the following season, and Doncaster were forced to settle for second, despite scoring 80 goals in 18 matches. The Bells roared back to success in 1994, winning the league with 16 wins in 18 matches, and scoring buckets of goals, 110 to be exact. In 2003, Doncaster Bells merged with Doncaster Rovers, despite reservations from members of the team at the time. The same year, the club appointed John Buckley as manager, a position he would hold for 10 years. The Bells would then go on to become a founding member of the Women's Super League in 2011 and would also go independent as a club around the same time, cutting their ties with Doncaster Rovers. Doncaster's team that year included current Manchester United trio Mary Earps, Jessica Sigsworth and Amy Turner, as well as Chelsea duo Millie Bright and Bethany England. The club finished in the bottom two in 2011, 2012 and 2013 before being demoted to the second tier with Manchester City taking their place. That only tells part of the story though. The restructuring of the top two divisions was announced in April 2013, days after Doncaster Bells played their first game of the season. Clubs were required to prove that they had the funds and due to a sponsorship deal falling through, were cast down to the second tier. Doncaster promoted back to the WSL in 2015 and would enjoy just one more season in the top flight before finishing bottom with just one win in 16 matches. A revolving door of managers followed with Glenn Harris and Emma Coates leaving in quick succession. Neil Redfern took over in 2017, his first step into management in the women's game, and enjoyed immediate success. The club lifted the WSL 2 trophy in 2018, their first trophy in 24 years. Unfortunately for the Bells, this story didn't have a happy ending, and despite winning the league, they were actually relegated to the third tier due to financial reasons. The club now play in the fourth tier of English football in the Women's National League Division 1 Midlands. Whilst Doncaster might be going through a tough period right now, it's important to remember what they have achieved in the women's game. Their famous yellow and blue colours are ingrained in football to this day, and hopefully one day we shall see them walking out in the WSL once again. If you've enjoyed this video, please like the video and share it with your friends, and we will see you again for another one soon. Thank you for watching.